Hey there, guys. It is Rachel Feldman. We're here at day two. We have 14 days of the list building challenge. What it's going to do is each day give you a little step. Today is all about the opt-in page. Now, opt-in pages can be used in a variety of different ways. The whole goal is that person opts in to get the free gift. Now, we are giving away the five hacks for clean eating. That can be your gift. You can also pair that with a masterclass, as I talked about yesterday. What I want to do is show you exactly what that looks like, because sometimes it can get uncomfortable or hard to visually see what that list builder could look like. So give me a second while I share screen. Okay. So this is a platform called Funalytics. You can get a free account. I think it's extremely worth having it because it's very visual. Doesn't mean that you have to build your funnels here, but for people that have a tough time visualizing what that funnel flow is, this is great for your lead magnet. So here you have your opt-in page. Your ideal client's gonna opt in. They're gonna get a thank you page. Now in the kit that we gave you, we give you both an opt-in page and a thank you page. If you want to seal that deal on building trust, which is what list building is about, I would encourage you right here where it has the check mark on the thank you page to put a little video. You could also on that thank you page, if you had a masterclass that you were pairing, such as the example that we talked about yesterday, five hacks for clean eating for gut health. I could pair that workshop, clean eating and gut health or gut health microbiome or gut health um, and hormone health, if I was talking about hormone as well. But I love the clean eating for gut health because it pairs exactly with that free base. Then once they opt in, they're getting your thank you page, but they get their first welcome email. What the welcome email does, it gives them another opportunity to build trust with you, to get to know you, and then it follows in um, to the download page. So you can put a video right here, introducing yourself, saying thank you so much, and you can put the actual masterclass, I'm sorry, masterclass would be right here on the download page. Then you have the indoctrination series, email one, two, and three, which you will see let me just go right, oops, sorry guys. Let me just go right here. You have these three email marketing. So I know we're talking about opt-in page, but I just want you to see. Here's email one, email two, and email three. For the confirmation page, you can just put, as I mentioned, a great workshop right there. The reason I love doing that is because you're furthering that education, the information, and the awareness. Because when that person is going through that funnel with you, they'll be able to get to know another piece of information, making them want to open up these emails and get to know you. As I said, there's a client testimonial here. Michelle Ellis, one of my copywriters, is actually going to be doing a video on that, which will be released at nine o'clock as well when we release the videos. So let's take a look at this opt-in page. It's a very simple opt-in page. Um, you can do this on lead pages. Every email marketing system has a way to build an opt-in page. You can also do this on ClickFunnels. You can also do this on your website. I'm gonna show you, for example, this page that I had for a giveaway. I was doing an essential oil giveaway. I gave away a free ebook. I was giving away an essential oil kit. And you will see right here, you can also break up a page visually by adding different color elements and different pictures. I like to go in a little big font, it's kind of part of my brand, but right here, there was a sign up button. I'm a wellness advocate. Everyone, no matter what, got um, the ebook. And what I did is on that, thank, on that thank you page, I did a little introduction email, like, thank you so much. Essential oils are such a big part of my life. Um, this is what you're gonna be able to achieve with this ebook, and you've just entered the giveaway. And then on the download page, I did another video. 
So that's a very simple way to do them. The whole point is that you want to have a page to be able to share it in a number of different places to be able to have a link that clicks off right of your Facebook business page, to be able to put this in your link tree or your bio on Instagram, to be able to have a page that if you do a video on the benefits of this freebie, that you have the call to action in the description on the YouTube video is to download the freebie. I also have another page that's a little more detailed that I wanted to show you. This is a summit page that I put together. I was on a lot of summits when I was in Rachel's Wellness. People knew me for detox. Um, and so I gave something called the Modern Person's Healthy Bundle. So that meant there were five emails because there were five gifts. I love that similar to a challenge because you have this opportunity to email somebody a gift and the next gift they want to of course open. I gave them a three-day paleo reset. I gave them a three-day cleanse, kitchen recipes, um, get fueled was about adrenal fatigue. Then this was a smoothie guide, really showing the different aspects of my business. So you will see a little different color, different elements, a bold headline. Here's a video on the opt-in page. Let me just go back to this opt-in page here. You can do an image of the book right here and you could do a video of the book, the, the book and the masterclass if you wanted to do that. I keep saying masterclass. Masterclass is like a mini teaching series. A masterclass can be anywhere from, you know, 15 to 30 minutes. They can even be longer. Sometimes you'll see masterclasses longer. It's like you doing a mini workshop where you're teaching another level of value. But you could do that easily right there. Have a testimonial. Make sure, guys, that you start getting testimonials. If you have clients that you can reach out to, if you have family and friends, if you're a brand new coach, um, it can feel scary to reach out and get a testimonial, but I'm telling you, you're going to use them in your email marketing. You're going to use them in this follow-up series, the indoctrination series. You're going to use them on opt-in pages and sales pages. So it's really worth. Plus, they're great for social media posts. So let's take a look at this page. You see right here, it's really giving. I'm here to take you through. Here's my signature e-guides plus a video series. So I actually, I think, did a video a day. And when I when somebody asked me to come on a summit, this was one of my summit offers. Now you can expand. You can expand this guy. You can expand this opt-in page. And this guide we will cover. And you can also do a part like this. This is what you can have. and then a little bio at the end. Don't get overwhelmed with your bio. This shouldn't be your whole about me page. Um, you can go to Mind Body Green and see some great little bios. You can also have a copywriter write a bio for you. Um, let's also take a look at some really simple ones. So this is not a full opt-in page, but I'm gonna show you three examples that do this to make it very simple. This is Dana Denawi. She has a bunch of our programs. She's an amazing hormone coach, amazing. Um, this is her five day eat for hormone health. You will see that she has it on the front of her website. So if you wanted to do this, you're just entering your name right here. And then of course she has this at the bottom. Some people have free resource page. I'm gonna show you if you don't know Elizabeth Ryder, she is very well-known coach. She was extremely well-known when I was um, starting my coaching. And you'll see right here, she has this right as a pop-up, 50 healthy recipes. I talk about this all the time. We have a membership called Content in a Box, and it gives you like 15 recipes Similar to what I was saying, if you wanted to do the five-day cleaning hacks and up-level that and do like five days of recipes or 
recipes in there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have recipes and content in a box. And I always say to my members, <laughs> guys, take a guide, turn that recipe guide, even if you have to combine two months. People love recipes. When you see like 30 recipes, 50 recipes, people go gangbusters. So this is a really great opt-in. Um, you could even do that with the opt-in that you have. Instead of five cleaning hacks, you could say 15 recipes or 30 recipes or a five-day meal plan. There are so many ways to use your opt-in freebie to up-level that. Um, you could also, of course, give the five-day clean eating hacks and then the next day in the indoctrination series, as we were looking here. You could give a download, of course, on the first. You can give another download ensuring that they actually go to that next step. That could be something like the bundle that I did. Oops. A sec, lost where I was. Okay, now let's look at Jess Royston. We're gonna keep this one today really short, really simple. So Jess Royston just has it right here. And she has her own, this is on Kartra. She has her own, um, opt-in page for this, but it's very simple. And you can also do a very simple opt-in page like this as well. Seven ways to detoxify for weight loss. Are you trying to lose weight? And the whole, the whole goal is see right here, she is sharing at the bottom. You can share this too. Oh, these are just her Instagram, but you can usually go and copy, um, put that in a bit.ly. If you wanted to put this in a bit.ly, I don't know if you guys know bit.ly, but we'll just do this. This can shorten a URL. So I'm gonna just say wait loss. Oops. <laughs> Last one, two, three. Okay, so if you wanted to, of course, have this on a social media image, you could, of course, put bit.ly weight loss 0123, and then you have the whole page that somebody can just go and click. Let me just stop sharing for a second. Um, Somebody's saying, I keep watching these and putting it off because I'm useless with technology. Do you have a step-by-step -step guide to do this? Can I use your content? <laughs> I totally understand. What I would say is if you're really, if, if technology is a really tough thing, number one is you can use a, you can use a system called Eventbrite going in, of course, converting the document to a PDF. You don't have to make it fancy. Go with the PDF. The only reason why I say use a video, and it's very easy to go on loom.com <clears throat> on loom.com and uh, on Chrome and do a video is because it allows your client to really get to know you. But if you want to keep it extremely easy, step one is to get your documents put in PDF form. Step two is to go to your email marketing system. There are many ones that are very simple, like Mail or Light. I know people use MailChimp. Um, and then step three, make an opt-in page right on your email marketing system. If that feels extremely overwhelming, I would encourage you to go on to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. They have amazing virtual assistants that can do a simple automation like this for very inexpensive money. If technology stops you, and guys, there are a lot of things that I struggled to do until I hired somebody. It was not and still is not my zone of genius. Um, the email marketing, I made it to where people were opting in and I just had a thank you page there. I could not figure out how to do automation, but it is worth doing it 
because, and it's worth paying somebody to have that done. You can find people, like I said, on Fiverr for such an inexpensive amount of money, because if the technology is stopping you, the only other thing that I really do have that's a surefire solution is that you take your business offline. You can reach out to many people, and this is a great way to build a referral network as well. If you're really stuck with doing online list building, you can reach out to people offline and say, hey, I would love if I could do, um, do a workshop for you and actually do a workshop on clean eating. And so you're doing that face to face. Um, another way, of course, is to reach out to a venue and say, can I blog for you? Um, the only downside is if you blog, you really would love to have a call to action at the bottom for somebody to sign up for that list. So I think that it's really worth taking the step and cutting out something like the massage or acupuncture. I always said this when I was not making a lot of money, I had to cut some other things out of my life to be able to afford somebody, but it was worth it because it gave me forward momentum in the areas that I couldn't do. So if you can get everything accomplished, such as editing the materials and really time block, have a list of what you need to do, time block, and then um, hire that person, you'll be able to save money by getting everything organized in a Dropbox and then be able to have them do the automation and the creating the list. It's the only way to grow. Um, if the technology is overwhelming, I just encourage you to either, like I said, hire somebody or take your business offline and see where you can do workshops. It's very easy to be able to take that PDF, take the information, the Word doc, and convert it into a PowerPoint. But truth be told, I am not great at making PowerPoints look pretty. It's one of the reasons that I put together amazing team members where we create content because that is not my zone of genius. So even when I did offline workshops, which I did a lot, um, I would always give people the PDF, but I would always email them the PDF after. So you can make it really simple. You just have to make sure at that offline workshop that you're getting somebody's email, their phone number, their name, um, and then email them the gift after with a personal note. That's the simplest. If you can, of course, like I said, put some money aside to hire somebody. That's the ultimate. We don't want to take away from the bandwidth and our energy if we're trying to do things that we just can't accomplish. So remember, the whole key of having an opt-in page, as we discussed in this little training series, is for somebody to be able to opt in and get that gift. Those emails that we gave you are gold because emails typically run about 100 an email with a copywriter. So if you're not a great writer or you just feel extremely overwhelmed in that follow-up sequence, this is a sure home run. Make sure that you're going through that opt-in page before you put it onto a page. You can also, um, you can also make edits to it. You can add some additional elements. And the whole goal is that you want to make it enticing with a great headline. We gave you a headline, but if you want to niche that down, which I highly suggest, I actually was on YouTube yesterday looking at videos that I have and video back from Rachel's Wellness. I talked about cranberry juice and candida had like 21,000 views. And I thought, wow, it's interesting. I did one on cranberry juice which had much less views. But when I started talking about candida and really got specific, that's when the views increase. So when you're thinking about your freebies, your opt-ins, really think, how can I get specific? That's why yesterday we dove into ideal client. What are their biggest pain points? What are their biggest objections? And today it's thinking of those power words that you need to have on that opt-in freebie page. It's even thinking as you watched in the video series where you're about to watch in the video series, how do you find the name to name your cover, to name your freebie? And how do you make it extremely desirable? For those of you that are going to do the masterclass or um, a video, I just encourage you to do it because, like I said, it will increase that trust with you and your potential client. So, guys, um, 
If you have any questions, make sure to drop them here. Let's just see if we have any. Somebody saying, I love this. I'm going through your training as I am defeated before, and I'm sure it's easier than I'm making it. Oh, thank you so much. Do you recommend having different follow-up emails for different freebies? Um, I do because that nurture sequence is extremely important. I will say in full transparency, when I had Rachel's wellness, I did not have, I didn't even know <laughs> how to find a copywriter. Um, so I made up those emails once I got that virtual assistant, because I'm telling you, I had like 15 freebies that just had thank you pages where I put, um, where I put the download. I was so deficient with tech. It was, it was horrible. Um, but I did learn, but it really helped once I got that virtual assistant. And I started making up those follow-up emails because imagine this person's opting in. They're opting in for, well, first they're seeing your social media. Then they're opting in for your freebie. And you're teaching about clean eating for the gut. Well, I want to have those follow-up emails to be like an introduction story about my why, why am I doing this? What did I once experience? Kind of that, that, that story that pulls everyone in. Think of it even when you're on social media. Who do you follow? Do you follow people that just give a lot of information or do you follow people that give these personal stories? What really pulls you in? So that email one is supposed to really pull them in. Email two could be a testimony or a case study, but I'm still want to be talking about that clean eating for gut health. Or if I have another one that's about detoxification, I want to nurture them on that level of detoxification. It doesn't mean that I can't connect detox and gut, detox and mindset, detox and toxins in the home, detox and hormone health. I want to think about all the problems that my client has. I'm not going to necessarily teach tons about hormone health because that's not my niche, but I always would talk about hormone health because that was such a hot topic with women and such a big one. And I would always relate it like your hormones will get into balance when you get these toxins out of your body. Your hormones will get into balance when you work on your gut. So for me, relating and helping my ideal client to connect the dots through these emails was extremely important. The reason I also say video is it can be a much shorter email if you have a five minute video explaining. And some of you are better at doing videos. It might be scary, but you're better at doing videos because you can explain to your ideal client in that follow-up process. We do have indoctrination series. Um, we put them together in October, they are follow-up series. We did it by niche. So if you have any questions about that indoctrination series, we have one on hormone, weight loss, mindset, gut, clean eating. Um, feel free to reach out to me through a PM or a DM or tag me somewhere and I can actually show you those. But the quick answer is yes, in an ideal world. And sometimes they go even longer than three. I feel personally that five emails can be a, like five emails can be that three to five is a great range. But when you go over that, unless you're giving me another gift, which these indoctrination series that we have, and like you saw with the modern health bundle, unless you're giving me another gift and wanting me to open for that next step, think of it, that email is that next step with you. It's that next interaction. So if you're doing more than three emails, um, I like to add in a checklist or I like to add in a recipe book or handouts that correlate to gut health. I would put in a handout on like essential oils and gut health because a lot of people use them. Um, something that's going to be a quick takeaway, something that's going to add value and something that is going to be easy to digest and easy for my ideal client in that email series to see the value and want to keep opening up. Um, so that's another strategy that you can use that also make those follow-up emails easy. It's one of the reasons that I say I love challenges because challenges usually come with emails and it gives you all that time and that challenge to nurture, which is why a lot of people use a challenge for an opt-in freebie 
then do a live masterclass and then lead people to a program. So remember, opt-in freebies can be in a number of different ways. There is not a right or wrong. It's for you to figure out. Let me pull up one more that I love in Funnelytics. Just give me a second. It's one of the reasons that I love a teaching series. And let me just show you what that looks like. See, we got talking and then I just had to show you this. <laughs> okay, let's just take a look at this one. So one of the reasons I love this mini class is exactly what you're watching. You have videos from me every day. You're getting to know me. You have a video from Michelle um, talking about the email series. So you're getting to know my brand. You're getting to know me. And you can see right here, mini class registration, thank you page, video one, video two, video three. This could be five videos if you really wanted to break it down. They could actually be give the guide, but it could be five videos. You could actually bring in um, clean eating hacks, show what it's like to go shopping for clean eating, clean eating on the cheap. Um, toxins in the home to look for, really go through the freebie. And as I said, on those content titles, that could be masterclass, that could be a mini teaching series, or you can take a workshop and make that a mini teaching series with the guide. Um, There's so many cool ways to do opt-in freebies. And I think at the end of the day, think what is going to convert the best, high value, stop the scroll so you have a great headline, really talk about the benefits of that freebie, the value of that freebie for your ideal client and what they can expect after they get that freebie. So guys, remember, keep your opt-in pages simple. If you can't do it yourself, outsource. Figure out how to cut something on the travel expense, cut something on eating out. Don't go to Whole Foods <laughs> for you know lunch. Some very simple things that you can do to get that money to have somebody help you. So you have this opt-in freebie put together. And so you get out of that overwhelm. If you're doing it yourself, just time block. Give yourself a day to get all the materials edited. Give yourself a day to edit the opt-in page or keep it just as is and make sure that you get this done. So it's been a pleasure to be with you. Tomorrow we will be kicking off at nine o'clock as well. If you have any questions, come into the group. Um, I'm more than happy to help come into our free group. And I hope that you guys have a lovely day. All right, guys, I will see you later.